Hello YouTubers, I'm Parways and this is our first video in Python Automation GUI with Pyatugu. So in this video we are going to have a simple introduction to Python Automation GUI and also we are going to create some examples. So uh, the programs uh, that can control other applications by sending them virtual keystroke and mouse clicks uh, just as if you were sitting at your computer and interacting with the application yourself. So these techniques is known as graphical user interface of automation or GUI automation we can call it for short so with GUI automation your programs can do anything that uh, that a human user uh, setting at the computer can do except uh, so the, the automation uh, cannot spell coffee on the keyboard so like you think uh, of a GUI automation as uh, we can call it as programming uh, programming a robotic arm so you can program the robotic arm to type at your keyboard and move your mouse for you so uh, uh, these techniques uh, are particularly useful for tasks that involve a lot of mindless clicking or filling out of forms so the first thing you need uh, you need to install this uh, library uh, because we are using uh, uh, Python and now you have we have a Py Auto GUI library for this. So you can simply open your terminal and in here you need to write pip install py uh, auto and GUI. Hit enter. So now I'm waiting for the installation of this library. Okay guys, now you can see the installation has been completed and now we are going to write our simple example. So first uh, you need to you need to import uh, py auto GUI. So import py uh, auto GUI. So after this now I'm going to get uh, the, my uh, screen uh, width and height. So screen width and screen height so you can use by auto GUI dot size to get this so after this uh, now you can for example I want to move uh, my uh, cursor uh, a little so you can use move to so we have move to and move real so the move real is uh, relative moving and uh, you can get this like this so not more real but we are going to uh, use move to okay so now uh, this function so this uh, pi auto GUI dot move to function will instantly move the mouse cursor to a specified position on the screen so integer values for x and y coordinates make up the functions first and second arguments also you can give a third argument for the duration but in this example we are not uh, going to use this so uh, for example uh, uh, let me give the screen width divided by 2 so I want when I run uh, my this uh, program my cursor should go in the center position so now uh, so for example uh, let me run this from here and you can see uh, my mouse is right now in here if I run this so you can see that my mouse goes on the center so now let me show you for example my mouse is in here let me run this and now I'm waiting now you can see my mouse is in here uh, so let me run it again and now you can see my mouse is in here so this was a simple example now we are going to extend this example and make a little bit more uh, realistic and a little more more complex uh, example okay now uh, I have created a new Python file and now first let me create uh, import by auto GUI and after this now let me create a for loop so for I in range of 10 so now I can uh, dot move to so now you can give your X and Y position so 100 uh, 100 and also you can give a duration so for the duration I'm going to give 0 0.25 uh, this is the duration millisecond 
and point out to GUI dot move to and 200 and 100 and the duration should be 0 to 25 point out to GUI dot move to and this is a 200 200 and the duration is 0 0.25 millisecond and dot move to 100 and 200 and the duration is 25 millisecond so what do you think of this example if I run this so <clears throat> this example uh, moves the mouse cursor clockwise in a square pattern uh, among the four coordinates provided a total of 10 times so because we have specified the range 10 so it will be uh, provide the coordinates uh, 10 times so uh, each movement uh, takes a quarter of a second so because uh, we have uh, specified in here's 0 0.25 keyword argument so uh, now let me just run this so now you can see my mouse so uh, uh, it's uh, you can see now it's uh, doing this 10 times so it's like quite uh, clockwise square and now uh, in a square pattern now the 10 times has been completed so uh, let me run it again you can see it will take 10 times to do this So now it's uh, uh, so uh, this by auto GUI dot move to uh, it moves the cursor instantly uh, teleported from point to point. So if you want the relevant movement, uh, you need to use by auto GUI dot move rel. So this is a function that moves the mouse cursor relative to its current position. So now let me just show you another example for this. I have uh, created another one. Uh, let me just import by auto GUI and now for i in range of 10 and <coughs> by auto GUI dot move rel. So instead of that, so you can see we have offset, x offset, y offset, and we have duration. So 100, 0, and the duration. Is 0 0.25 and let me just copy uh, this okay and this is uh, 0 hundred and we have a minus hundred zero and we have again zero uh, minus hundred okay so now let me just uh, run this uh, so for example my mouse is in here relative uh, I want it should be in this section so if I run this you can see now I have the movement in this section so it will go uh, 10 times so and uh, yeah now it's completing okay so if I so in here so I want the movement should be in here uh, okay in this section or in the center so I want let me run it so now you can see it's rel uh, relative to the position uh, if we want any position because we are using move rel so thank you guys uh, I will add the source code of this video uh, in the description uh, please subscribe to my channel for the further videos and different programming language like Python, uh, C Sharp. Uh, I have uh, decided to add some videos on C Sharp, some project, and also Java, JavaFX GUI. So subscribe my channel, like the video, and share the videos.